Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I wanna show you the ultimate map expansion for Grand Theft Auto 5 that I also think is the most realistic. A lot of people wanna see Rockstar going from coast to coast, from Vice City to Los Santos, from Liberty City to San Fierro. But I think the best and most likely map expansion for GTA 5 would have to be the three cities that we saw in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Los Santos, Las Venturas, and San Fierro, because geographically, they're all relatively close, how Rockstar could make them work, because they're all parodies of San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas, which kind of create this little triangle and are relatively close to each other in real life and could make sense in the GTA universe. So I saw this map that was created by Avatar SD, and it is outstanding. Like, guys, it literally looks like Rockstar created this thing themselves. That's how realistic it is. And he's actually created multiple versions of it, which make it a little bit easier to digest. So let me go ahead and throw you guys the first example on the screen right now. Here we go. So let's start from left to right, and you can see he's kind of calling this project San Andreas Stories, which would make sense because it basically is the three cities featured in San Andreas. And you guys can see there that it's the entire Grand Theft Auto V map, and then it's connected to two other bodies of land. Uh, on the left side, you see San Fierro, and on the top right, you see Las Venturas. They seem to be connected by a few different highways, so you'd be able to get there by land, by air, and by sea. And doesn't that look like a real GTA 5 map? I mean, that is absolutely incredible. So let's start us from left to right. One of the first things you'll notice is there's a new island, which we'll get to in a minute. That's sort of south of the San Fierro land mass that we can see there. And you guys can also see that there's going to be some iconic features. There'd be a new airport. There's going to be the Golden Gate Bridge. You can also see the terrain of San Fierro is a lot different than Las Venturas, which suddenly kind of turns into a desert like Sandy Shores. So that's pretty cool geographically. You've also got a ton of little inlets that you can see in the San Fierro area where you'd see docks and you'd see places to go on the water. That would be so cool. And then moving over to Las Venturas, you can obviously see that big landmass in the middle being the central city of Las Venturas and its surrounding counties. Now, going on to the right-hand side of the screen, let's start with what we know, GTA 5. You've got Los Santos, Los Santos County, and Blaine County. You've got Katrina Island, which is that one south of San Fierro. You have Flint County, San Fierro, Whetstone, and Tierra Robata. And then you've got the city of Las Venturas, Bone County, and El Dorado. So those would be your county lines that you would see there in this expansion. This is just so cool. I mean, the fact that you'd be able to get there by land, by air, and by sea would really make this incredibly accessible. And this is how it would make sense because you wouldn't have to take some fictional air flight all the way across the country to Vice City or Liberty City. It would make sense to make a drive or fly your own plane to a place like Las Venturas or San Fierro or by boat if you're so interested in something like that. But yeah, you can see how they all easily connect really good and close together. Now, let's actually get a close up on the two new maps because to me, that's very interesting. You guys can see that here is San Fierro. And this just looks vastly impressive. I mean, it's very interesting that you have this entire city essentially surrounded by a bay of water, but that's why they call San Francisco the Bay Area because you've got that massive bay and body of water. I love like the massive highways that you can see that eventually connect to the various land masses like the Golden Gate Bridge and even to other surrounding areas like that city to the north, Sacrificio, which I'm assuming is going to be Sacramento. You can also see some interesting things on the island itself. Like if we look at the map on the right, you've got like that nuclear waste sign. So is that an island that we don't ultimately need to go to? You can also see a couple of examples of like weed farms and Bigfoot spottings and stuff like that. So ultimately that looks incredible. That would be our area of San Fierro. And then he's even dove in and done it some more for Las Venturas. And 
you guys can see since this is a parody of Las Vegas that you're going to have the main city center and then the rest is pretty much deserts and small towns as you guys can see which is really cool and you've obviously got some nice little landmarks right here you've got area 69 which is kind of cool. You've got a couple of other small towns like Rhino, which is supposed to be Reno. You've actually got a handful of airports here. Now, some of them being restricted, like the one in Area 69, lots of other bodies of water. But this would be honestly incredible because the last time we saw three major cities in a Grand Theft Auto game, it was GTA San Andreas. And obviously, technology has progressed so much further than what we had back then. So it would be amazing to see if Rockstar could do something like this. And I know that players want to see a full Grand Theft Auto world map that might ultimately look something like this. Now, this actually encompasses all of the Rockstar worlds together. You guys can see Manhunt, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead Redemption, and Bully. So from Los Santos to Liberty City from Bullworth to Sea Pine, from, you know, San Denis to Amberino and North Yankton and everything else in between, that this right here is the ultimate Rockstar map. And because all the Rockstar worlds are seemingly connected from Bully to Manhunt, Grand Theft Auto to Red Dead Redemption, I guess something like this could work. The only problem is they take place, obviously, in different time periods. So by the time you got to San Denis and Grand Theft Auto times, it would obviously be different. And if you went to Los Santos and Red Dead Redemption times, it would obviously be different. So they could try and make something like that work. I don't know how, though. They would definitely probably have to say, okay, this is what the map is going to look like in Red Dead Redemption times. Then this is what the map is going to look like in Grand Theft Auto times. But I think an expansion like this is not only doable. Now, I'm not the one who's actually designing the game, so I know that it would take a lot of work. But I do think sticking with those cities close to Los Santos, at least as far as GTA 5 goes, gives Rockstar the best chance to actually introduce something like that. So I want you guys to definitely let me know what you think about this in those comments down below. And if you believe something like this from Rockstar is achievable, I think the answer is yes. Now, whether or not we get something like that is probably remains to be seen. I would say because Rockstar is probably neck deep in developing GTA 6, they're not going to waste their resources on something like this. But you never know how the next Grand Theft Auto Online multiplayer is going to be. And maybe it'll encompass different maps from different games. Because I think it's fairly likely that the next Grand Theft Auto game, very likely set in Vice City, is going to be set there. Maybe there's a way in which we can actually go back to the likes of Los Santos. And then you just keep adding on cities, you keep adding on cities. What's kind of cool is this same user ended up creating a GTA 6 concept map too, which I'll show you guys on the screen right now. And you can see it's map comparison size to Grand Theft Auto 5. So this would kind of be a nice expanded Vice City, that's for sure. You can see that the total area is 76 kilometers squared. And for the Grand Theft Auto 6 one, it's 147 kilometers squared, 93 times bigger than GTA 5. And you guys can see there that it consists of urban area, rural area, and then mostly water, actually, which kind of the Grand Theft Auto 5 map, just like Earth, mostly water, too. So figured I would throw this in here at the last minute. But let me know what you guys think about this entire saga in those comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys down there. Do you think we'll see something like this in Grand Theft Auto in the future with GTA 5 and another title? Let me know again what you guys think in those comments down below. If you guys did go and enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.